Hey guys, Trent at Black Horse Ranch here. I've got our two dogs. Uh, they're uh, this Elvis. He's a Border Collie McNabb mix, and those are both cattle dogs or, or uh, herding dogs. And then this is Cedar. She's our Australian cattle dog. Again, she's a cow dog. And uh, we got these dogs with the intent of working them and training them so that they can run cattle and uh, be out in the field and stuff. Now they're There'll be two at the end of April. They're both about a week apart from each other. So they'll both be two at the end of April. We haven't done a lot with them. We've done some simple obedience training. But my uh, friend Seth at 7U Ranch up in Riggins, actually Lucille, Idaho, he mentioned a few tips to start working with them on. And I'm planning to go up there sometime before spring or before summer and uh, start working the dogs, uh, start learning how to work them. So this is gonna be uh, the first attempt. Uh, we're gonna start teaching them how to do down. I'm gonna work with them one at a time and uh, we'll, we'll see how they respond. I think they'll, they'll be pretty good. Um, early on, Cedar had a really good instinct with cows. I mean, she had the drive to chase cows and she's kind of, I think she's torn right now whenever we're around the cows. Um, she knows she's not supposed to chase them, but the cows are very interested, and so they come, and so she's a little skittish. So hopefully we can get that indecisiveness back to how she was before. Um, when she was just a few months old, she was chasing full-grown cattle across the field. Um, so she's got it in there somewhere, and hopefully we didn't, we didn't bury it too deep. Elvis has a really strong inclination toward herding, uh, more so. Cedar's more of a chaser, and Elvis is more of a herding herding dog, um, which is true to their breeds. That's typically how border collies are more known for their herding instinct and uh, Australian cattle dogs for their uh, driving instinct. So a couple of unique things. Um, Elvis is just, he's Jackson's dog. That was just going to be his pet, but hes he's got some pretty good instincts and Jack said he was fine with me working with him. So he's get, he gets to come along for the ride on this, but I'll do, be doing them one at a time and I'll start with cedar and we'll see what happens. Okay. Down. 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 Good girl. Stay. Go. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Okay. Down. Good girl. Okay, go. Good girl. Down. Down. Good girl. Go. Down. Down. Good girl. Okay.
today. Okay. Down. Okay. Go. Down. Okay, come. Down. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Girl. Okay, now we'll give Elvis a shot. Okay, Elvis, come. Sit. Sit. Hey. Okay. Down. 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 Okay. Good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Down. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Okay. Come. Down. Come. Okay. Good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. Okay, come. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Okay. Come. Down, down, boy. Okay, come. Come. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Come. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Okay, I think we'll call it quits there. Um, you can kind of see um, Elvis has always been a little bit more skittish, and so he never came straight to me. He kind of went in a circle. I don't know if you can see that in the video very well. Um, but you want to, when you say down, you want him to drop immediately. So Elvis tended to walk on a bit. Um, if I don't have the rake, uh, cedar keeps coming. So. I mean, this is really the first time I've worked with them at all with the rake. Um, it's just supposed to be a visual, you know, deterrent, kind of a big, wide, scary thing. 
um, but you don't actually hit the dog or anything with it. Um, it's just kind of a, a visual help. So uh, we'll keep working with them and see how things go. So I watched the video that we did uh, our first training session and uh, one thing that I thought about was maybe next time trying Elvis without the rake since that may have been the reason that he was a little bit skittish. Um, when I've done a little bit of stuff with him before, uh, Elvis has always been better at laying down than Cedar. So I think he was a little bit worse when we did it this time. So, But it might be the rake because he's, he's scared of a lot of things. So um, he maybe didn't want to come near me with the rake. Um, so we'll try that possibly with Elvis next time. Um, I thought Cedar did pretty good. I was a little bit pleasantly surprised because I've had trouble getting her to lay down, especially when it's snowy or wet or something like that. If it's not comfortable, she doesn't do it, but she was doing good today. And they recommend that you only do like 15 minutes at a time, I think maybe like 15 minutes a day. Um, so we just did a little bit, uh, we, we did less than 15 minutes. Um, but. We'll, we'll slowly increase the time as we as we start doing it more, and then they'll they'll start understanding. Hopefully, um, you know what we're doing when we do those sessions, and they won't. I think it, it's a little bit weird for them since we haven't done it before. They don't know what's going on, but generally they obey pretty good. So, but when you got them out in the field with stock, uh, they got to be really good. <laughs> 